Introduction to PICO for Evidence-Based Medicine. This session covers the purpose of PICO in evidence-based medicine, how to apply the PICO method to develop a focused clinical question, and an opportunity to practice the PICO model on examples provided. PICO stands for Population, Intervention, Comparison, and Outcome. The first step in evidence-based medicine is to formulate a precise clinical question. PICO is a useful tool to help clinicians develop clearly focused questions. Because clinical questions can be complicated with numerous components, PICO helps to dissect the component parts and clearly structure their question. Once the four components are identified, they can easily ascertain the search terms for a medical literature search. The population is the relevant group of patients studied for a particular health problem. Intervention is the treatment considered for the patient with the health problem under investigation. The comparison group is the population with the same specific health issue as the patient except they do not undergo the specific treatment. Comparison group is the control group given a placebo treatment or no treatment at all. Not all clinical questions have comparison, so sometimes this may be left blank. Outcome specifies the measurable result expected if the intervention applied is successful. Let's break down the following research question into the four PICO components. How effective is Rheumatrex on reducing symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis in women over 75? Population Females over 75 years old with rheumatoid arthritis. Intervention Rheumatrex Comparison Women over 75 with rheumatoid arthritis who are given placebo. Outcome, reduction in symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Let's break the following case study into the four PICO components, then restate it in a question format. Patient X suffers from hypertension. As his physician, you want to find out whether a beta blocker drug Y works better than the diuretic drug Z that patient is currently taking. You consider the best treatment to be the one which reduces the disease symptoms and that which has the least side effects. Patient X is 45-year-old obese male with type 2 diabetes. Population 45-year-old obese males with type 2 diabetes suffering from hypertension. Intervention Beta blocker drug Y Comparison Diuretic drug Z Outcome, same or greater reduction in symptoms of hypertension with less side effects. Reworded as a clinically focused question. In the treatment of hypertension in adult obese males with type 2 diabetes, is drug Y more effective than drug Z in terms of reducing symptoms and causing less side effects? Practice, break down the following question into the four PICO components. Question one, Dr. J wants to study the effectiveness of cough syrup X in infants under six months. Population, intervention, comparison, outcome. You may pause the video and fill out the table. Answers to question 1. Population. Infants under 6 months with cough symptoms. Intervention. Prescribed dosage of cough syrup X. Comparison. Infants under 6 months with cough symptoms not treated. Outcome. Reduction in coughing symptoms. How did you do? Question 2. You want to conduct a research study to find out which treatment is most effective in treating childhood obesity, diet, exercise, or combination of the two. Population, intervention, 
Comparison Outcome You may pause the video here and complete the table. Answers to question 2 Population Individuals under the age of 18 who suffer from obesity Intervention Here we have three interventions Exercise, diet or combination of the two for comparison, there is none because we do not have a control group here. Outcome, weight loss. How did you do? Congratulations on completing this tutorial. If you would like to learn more about PICO, here are some useful online resources. Thank you for watching.